I don't think this is gonna work. Why not? Because <laughs> it's ridiculous, that's why. I mean, they're machines. They're meant to do what we want them to do. There's no purpose for them to have emotions. It's the next step in Android evolution. We've made them look like us, we've made them talk like us. It's now time to make them feel like us. All right? Yeah. <sighs> All right, well, that should just about do it then. Uh, Here's those pictures you wanted. <laughs> They're not pictures. They're emotional resonance triggers. Yeah. So. <laughs> what is that? Tell her. I have no idea. Ah, oh, did I? Oh, All right, Stewart. Stu. Stewart. Good Lord. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> double vision. It'll never do for 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 her to see it like this. Oh, I'll go and look for her. This is no place for me. Uh, <laughs> nice day, what? Yeah. Stuart, oh, what happened? You know, oh, that's it. I'm drunk. I haven't been drunk in years. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No, I assure you, positivity. What? Positivity. Not for years, but today is the day for it. What? Oh, ah. What the deuce were we doing here? You know, Uncle Sean, I have been trying to figure out what is the matter with me. You ever been drunk, Uncle Sean? Oh, certainly not. Uh, that, that is seldom. <laughs> How often is that? That's <laughs> well, not often. Body lies over. Don't do that. Trouble! Oh. Trouble! I, I'm so, so, so melancholy. <laughs> I've got trouble. Big, big trouble. What's my trouble, Uncle John? Trouble. Oh, let's let's take him to his room. I, I, I don't, I don't want to go to my room. I didn't want to go to my room. Ooh. Maybe I should. All of these pictures in here are making me seasick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out, she's coming. <laughs> what did you say to the ladies who upset her, sir? Just a little joke, Sergeant. I'm always fond of a little innocent fun. And there's nice fun, and then there's not so nice fun. I don't know what you mean by that, Sergeant. I've been doing a little wondering of myself, sir. Indeed. I've been wondering about that car of yours and how it happened to overturn in the snowdrift so conveniently. Inconveniently, you mean, don't you, sir? Well, that depends on how you look at it. Just where were you bound for, by the way, when you had this uh, accident? I was on my way to Sir friend. In this neighborhood? Not so very profitable. And what was the name and address of his friend? Well, come, Sergeant, that's not important now. It has nothing to do with our predicament. Well. We always like the uh, fullest information. What did you say uh, your friend's name was? I didn't say. <laughs> no, you didn't say. And now it seems you're not going to say. Now that's very interesting. Oh, but there may be so many reasons, Sergeant. And the more discussion, young, these jealous husbands. <laughs> you're a little old to be running around with the ladies at your time of life, aren't you, sir? Perhaps, Sergeant. I'm not as old as I look. I've been thinking that very thing, sir. Well, that you're not quite as old as you uh, pretend to look. You got me into this, now you get me out. <laughs> I will. I'll find your clothes and you can get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and if you uh, you can't find a whole suit, just get a hat and I'll take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Are you the lad of India? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm uh, burning very low. <laughs> Excuse my familiarity, but Pop said he bought you. Yeah, and you wanted to know whether he got stuck, eh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, me. laughs> Have you been here very long? Yeah, it only seems like a hundred years. Uh, but, but with us, there is no time. <laughs> I may end up doing a little time. <laughs> Time to uh, 
teach me the ethics of your philosophy. Uh, certainly. Um, why don't we start now? <laughs> uh, first, uh, we, uh, we take a lotus position upon the floor. I see we take a lotus position upon the couch. <laughs> Then we uh, clear our mind of all extraneous thoughts. <laughs> and we align our chi. Yeah. And then we uh, say our mantra. Mantra, mantra, mantra. I like this one. Mm, harmony. Mm, harmony. Harmony. <laughs> May we listen? Yeah, yeah, certainly, certainly, certainly. Now I'll teach you a little bit. Uh, the thing is, uh, like so, and then repeat after me. Harmony. 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 You got a cigar. Uh, um, uh, I, uh, I thought I smelled smoke. I can't stand smoke. It would uh, shatter my nerves. Then we will get along famously. I too detest that. <laughs> oh, why, this is silk, isn't it? Yes, um, mulberry silk. I raised the moles myself. <laughs> <In England>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was when she saw him dancing with the people. He was moving them with his mission, and they were already suffering from Trossy's complaint. I'm try to Try? She was right. He was upset a few hours after. He was always right. You can't say anything, you can't say anything to yourself. He's the poet. He's everything. I have a poet heart to understand. Do you mind what's said by a foolish boy because I said something like it again and again? That foolish boy was the inspiration of a child and the cunning of a servant. He has claimed that I've lost your love and he has gained it. Might be wrongly, I couldn't believe it's true. But I, I will not go about suffering doubts and suspicions. I will not live with you a secret from you. I will not suffer the intolerable dignity of jealousy. We have decided, he and I, that you should choose between us now. I await your decision. Oh. <laughs> I have to choose, Emma. I suppose it's quite decided that I must belong to one or the other. Okay. You must choose and yeah. So that I demand that I have my clothes restored to me. Wet or dry, you shall have them. Oh, but Nicholas! Oh. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready, darling? Leonard! Leonard? Eustasia? Eustasia? <laughs> well, isn't anybody going to say anything? Mr. Latimer, while Leonard is thinking of something to say, perhaps you can introduce me to his wife. I beg your pardon. Eustasia, this is Ed. How do you do? How do you do? Leonard, this is Nicholas. We've met, quite old friends. Mm. <laughs> I repudiate the friendship. We met under false pretenses. I, 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 I can't think of anything to say. Then don't say it, old boy. Here we all are, and we've got to make the best of it. It's yes, right. Hey. <laughs> Leonard, you have a cold? Oh, a very nasty cold. It'll be better once he's finished his breakfast. I have finished my breakfast a long time ago. Oh, excuse me, I misunderstood. I have been shaken. But Leonard, I don't understand. I've never known you ill before. I never have been ill before. I'm ill now. Very ill. Nobody minds. <laughs> Nobody minds at all. This fellow blackbird and vagals. In vagals. <laughs> I shall pronounce it how I like. It's 
that time I said to myself, I've been far too patient. You inveigle me here and purposefully give me a cold. You are entirely unmoved by my sufferings, instead of which you mock the very simple breakfast which I have forced myself to eat. And you run away with my wife at a time when I am ill and unable to protect her. <laughs> and you, Eustasia, you, I, I, you surprised me, Eustasia, you surprised me, I didn't think you had it in you. 